so I have another video tutorial here to share with all of you on Windows 10. So if you guys are having issues with your Windows 10 computer, there is a built-in feature that allows you to restore your computer back to factory settings, and the option's called Reset This PC, Remove Everything. Now you can do this without the CD or the DVD. So let me jump right into this and show you the quickest way to get into this screen. What you want to do, go down to the lower left-hand corner and right-click on the little window there. Go to where it says Shut Down or Sign Out. Now, before you click restart, you want to hold down the left shift key on your keyboard and keep holding that down. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down the shift key, click restart. I'm still holding down the shift key right now until I get this screen that pops up that says choose an option. Go to the one here that says troubleshoot, reset your PC. We're going to choose troubleshoot and reset this PC. Now there's some options here that are very important. Keep my files, removes apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. I recommend you choose to remove everything. That's why I'm doing this video. So this is going to remove all your personal files. I'm just going to go ahead and select it because that's where we're going. So now we're into this screen right here. My computer restarted. So once you do click that, you're going to restart. So let's just talk about this real quick. Just remove my files. Use this if you're keeping your PC. Fully clean the drive. Use it if you're going to sell it or recycle it. But we're not going to do that. We're, we're going to choose the one that says just remove my files. Okay, so now that brings us into this screen here. Reset this PC. You can see it says here resetting will remove all your personal files files, any apps and programs that didn't come with the PC. So kind of what that means before I go ahead and click reset, you're going to lose all the applications that you installed on your computer. Anything that was on your desktop, like PDF files, pictures, music, if you installed a printer and you used a disk to do that, it's going to wipe that out. Any files, data, videos, documents, games installed, you're going to lose your games and things like that. You're going to have to reinstall those items. When I click reset here, we're going to go through the process. It will reinstall all the basic applications and files as you've seen on the desktop here when the computer first came to you. And you're going to need to do all your Windows updates again and things like that. Now it's going to go through a process here that could take up to two hours possibly. But once your PC restarts several times and the screen might flicker and whatnot, it's going to eventually get to this screen here where it's actually reinstalling Windows 10. You can see right there I'm at 10%. At the bottom it even says your PC will restart several times even after this part right here it can restart several times your screen may look a little shrunk and that is only because you do not have all the you know like windows doesn't have all the drivers installed like your video drivers and things like that as you move along in the process things will come back to normal as you do the updates and stuff eventually you'll get to this screen here let's start with region and cortana will talk and all that good stuff yes for us i'm gonna go ahead and skip my second keyboard layout basically we're just going through the startup screen we're gonna name the pc we're accepting terms all that that good stuff before we get back to the desktop how would you like to set up your computer mine is going to be set up for personal use so i'm going to select personal use and click next okay so if you don't want to sign in with your account you can click offline account you can always sign into your account later and i'm just going to choose maybe later what we're trying to do is just get through this startup screen here and get to the desktop. So here you just put your name in. This will show up like your user account. Create a super memorable password. I'm not going to password protect my account right now. So I'm just going to click next because I can always add that in later. Make Cortana your personal assistant. Choose yes, that's fine. I'm just going to leave all these settings on for now and click accept. Actually, right now, guys, I also have Cortana disabled by you need to get a few more things clicking the little microphone down here you guys will probably hear her talking i don't want to hear it so i just disabled the little voice thing all right everyone so we are back here at the desktop now what i like to do is this is pretty much all the default stuff like i said there's all your apps you know you're gonna have your calculator notepad all the normal default stuff here i like to go in and personalize this kind of and show my desktop icons over there and i believe it's under themes down here somewhere desktop icon settings so i want to show my computer my user files my network and control panel out here on the desktop so this is how i do it and most importantly what you want to do right now is go down here to the little window and go to settings and this is where you want to go right in immediately and start doing your updates for your windows operating system this is going to install the latest updates it's going to fix your drivers if you need drivers installed it should if it usually it will find most drivers for most PCs, but you want to do all these updates. This may require a restart. You want to restart your computer, then go back into Windows Update again and go ahead and click updates. You want to keep doing it until it says pretty much they can't find any and they're all done. Then you can start reinstalling all your stuff 
back onto your computer because over here where it says Jamie if I go in there everything here is all brand new and clean now so documents if I go in there there's nothing in there downloads is empty all these folders are empty so you can start copying your data back over you can reinstall your games now so if you guys found this video to be helpful please click the like button please share it and thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you next time